Hi everyone, welcome back to Diagnose Quiz, a prep ladder's attempt to give you a fun learning experience. Do not forget to subscribe to this channel and to click the bell icon to receive notification. A quick recollection of the connectron rules which I've already told you. I will be showing you three images. You're supposed to find out an appropriate process or a technique or a disorder which connects all these three images. In which case you get 15 points. If you know the right answer but you're able to connect only two images, you get 10 points. If you can connect only one image, you get 5 points. And for every right answer, there is also a bonus question. If you get the bonus question also right, then you get additionally 20 points. I'm also curious to know your total score. So at the end of the video, do not forget to type your total score in the comment section. Other three images, give yourself 45 seconds time and come back to know the right answer. So who is the person who is shown in the image? He is Carrie Mullis. What is that he discovered or invented? He invented polymerase chain reaction. The moment I say polymerase chain reaction, you always remember about the temperature, right? So what is the temperature for denaturation step? For denaturation, it has to be carried out at 95 degree. So any enzyme that you use for PCR should be thermostable. You cannot use a human DNA polymerase. So what is the next image? The next image is a hot spring. Only an organism which lives in hot spring will have a thermostable enzyme. So what is that organism? The organism is Thermus aquaticus. And that is why the DNA polymerase is TAC DNA polymerase. So the TAC DNA polymerase is capable of withstanding cyclical rise of temperature to 94 or 95 and that's why it's used for PCR. Now what is the third image? Third image is the instrument that is used for PCR which is thermocycler which can cycle between temperatures denaturation 95, annealing melting temperature minus 5, elongation is 72 degree. The instrument just cycles between temperatures, so the instrument is called as thermocycler, which is a very sophisticated equipment, which cannot be installed anywhere. The training cannot be given just like that. So that is one disadvantage of PCR. So what is the right answer here? If you link all these three images, the right answer has to be a technique, which is PCR, or the enzyme TAP DNA polymerase. I hope you all got it right. Now, type the score that you got so far, okay? Now, what is the bonus question? What is isothermal amplification? This gained importance during COVID-19. So, during COVID-19, because we had to make the diagnosis even in the periphery, but even in periphery, you cannot just like that install uh, thermocyclers, cannot give training. We became dependent on something which is isothermally amplifiable wherein the temperature has to be maintained at a constant temperature you, so that you don't have to be dependent on thermocycler. So the assay is lamp assay. What is lamp assay? Loop mediated amplification assay because it's always carried out at 60 degree. Reason is we use a special DNA polymerase here which is BST DNA polymerase not the TAC DNA polymerase. Here it is BST DNA polymerase, which is Bacillus stereothermophilus. Does that ring a bell? You must have learned about this in autoclave, bioindicator. The bioindicator that is used in autoclave is Bacillus stereothermophilus, which is BST DNA polymerase or Bacillus smithy DNA polymerase. Both these enzymes have very high strand invasion ability. So you do not have to rise the temperature to 95. All steps can be carried out at 60 degree. That's why it's called as isothermal amplification or lamp assay. So that's all for this topic. And do not forget to subscribe to our channel because we'll be releasing out so many topics and so many concepts that will be of use to all NEET PG and next PG aspirants. Thank you.